Hi everyone, I'm starting this video first of all saying you that I've been asking to the Apple staff if I'm able to record inside the Apple store and I got the approval from them. Hi everyone, guess what? It's Soraya over here that flew all the way to Dubai to show you how much it costs an iPhone over here. So let's compare the prices comparing Europe. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> comparing... <laughs> comparing Europe and here. So, how much it will be? More or less? Let's discover it together. Absolutely. Let's go. It's amazing to be here, back in Dubai. Oh my goodness. I've been living over here three years and uh, every time that I come back, it's always exciting, you know? So, let's enter. Over here, how it is. Let's start from iPhone 14. Let's flip the camera. All right, guys, let's start from the best one, actually, my favorite one iPhone 14 Pro Max. And as you can see, the color is deep purple. Not my favorite color, to be honest, because I used to have the iPhone green and also the blue one. And definitely this is not the best one. But let's focus on the prices. Uh, the one terabyte it's costing here in Dubai, 6,799 dirhams. In the Italian Apple Store website, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, one terabyte, exactly the same one, will cost nowadays 2,139 euros. What about in US? Instead, it's better. They are lucky because they are paying actually $1,599. Imagine. So, wow. Even less than dirhams. For the same iPhone, iPhone 14 Pro Max, one terabyte capacity storage. But let's go on and let's discover the other capacity storage prices. Then we have actually the 512 gigabyte, which is costing 5,949 dirhams. In the Italian website, the same phone, it will cost 1,879 euros and in US, it will cost $1,399. Then we have the 256 gigabyte that it's costing 5,099 dirhams. In the Italian website, it's costing 1,619 euros. And in the US one, it's costing $1,199. But let's go on. And last but not least, 128 GB are costing 4,689 dirhams. In Italy, are costing 1,489 euros. And in the US one, it's costing 1,099 dollars. You guys are thinking, why she's choosing Italy? Yeah, because actually I'm half Italian. And because it's very sad that, unfortunately, it's one of the European countries where actually iPhone will cost so much more. I mean, can you just imagine one terabyte, guys, it's costing 2,139 euros in Italy. That comparing US, it's just like more than $500 more or more than 500 euros more, all right? And comparing to Dubai, it's like almost 300 euros more. So it's just like crazy. It's really crazy. I think it's uh, due to the very high VAT that we have. That is exactly 22% of VAT. But let's continue and let's see how is the display. Apart from the dynamic island, which is actually a reinvented notch, Basically, I don't see so many differences, to be honest. But yeah, it's a very nice idea what they have done. But even though I don't think that I will jump from my iPhone 12 Pro Max to the iPhone 14 Pro Max, because yeah, plus I didn't even understand how the dynamic island was working, my bad. 
but <laughs> I'm continue touching and touching, but nothing is really happening. It's really my bad. Something is wrong on me. And uh, for sure, I don't know still how it works. But um, yeah, the interface looks like the regular one, the common one. So yeah, the applications, the widgets and uh, the interface in general, it's really like the previous model. So that's good. It doesn't really change that much. But let's explore how the camera is working. All common as well. Yeah, the front camera as well doesn't really change that much as well. But let's see and let's focus on the zoom, which is really, really good. I love the edges. I love how it focuses so clearly and it's damn perfect. I love it. Look at this. You can clearly see all the 48 megapixels. Guys, it's amazing. Apple Watches over here, guys. The new Apple Watch Ultra in Italy will cost 1,009 euros, which is bloody hell expensive. So I do believe, guys, that I will keep my Apple Watch SE, that it's doing his job absolutely well and perfect, and it's enough for me.